Good morning, friends. Uh, my name is Rob Altman. I'm a chaplain, and I'm here on behalf of the Oblates community to welcome you to our prayer morning. Wherever you are, we hope you're doing well. You're enjoying this beautiful summer, and you have loved ones around you. So in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So this morning we will look at a reading from St. Paul to the Galatians, and it's entitled Freedom in Christ. So I'm going to read it twice, and then we'll have some quiet time just to sit with it, reflect on it, and I'll give some of my own personal reflections afterwards. So a reading from St. Paul to the Galatians. It is for the freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm. Then and do not let yourself be burdened against again by a yoke of slavery. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled by keeping one commandment. Love your neighbour as yourself. So I will read it again and I'll give you some time just to reflect on it. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm and do not let yourself be burdened against the yoke of slavery. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your, your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping one commandment. Love your neighbour as yourself. So just a few personal reflections on that reading. I think it's I think it's very striking that it's you know entitled Freedom in Christ, and it talks about slavery, and it also talks about be about freedom and love thy neighbour as yourself. And I suppose even though that the reading is not related to it, I'm, I'm automatically brought to what's happening in Europe in relation to Ukraine, and that people, if they follow the the commandment of love thy neighbour as yourself, would we be in this situation where people are being killed, uh, having to flee their country, saying goodbye to their loved ones. And I think it's very difficult to swallow that in a world where we have the best of technology, where we're communicating now virtually, where we have what seems to be the best of the best, that still we're reverting to war and murder and crimes against humans and it's 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 so sad um, and it's so difficult to digest um, and i think this is a time of deep prayer this is a time where we have to you know come together as a community and pray for those in need Pray for those people who are struggling, pray for those people who are dealing with all sorts. If it's fleeing their country, addiction, loss, grief, you know, prayer has to be the centre of what we do. And I think also that it's a time for us to reflect on what we have as a country, how grateful we are that we're in a time of peace in Ireland, that we have plenty of resources. We have community around us. Um, we are able to go outside now. We don't have to deal with COVID as much as we did. Yes, there are people at home and people still struggling with it, but by and large, we're able to get outside and mix with people and, and do our normal day to day. And how grateful are we that we have that? So we have, I suppose, two prayers really. 
one in prayer of intercession for the people of Ukraine, for the people who are struggling across the world, if it's in South Sudan, if it's in Northern Ireland, if it's anywhere in Europe, if it's in Africa, or, and also a prayer of thanks for what we have, what we're grateful for, how lucky we are. So we'll just leave you with those prayers as we conclude this prayer session. And wherever you are, I wish you well. I hope that you are taking full advantage of this lovely summer that we're having and that you're surrounded by community, family, friends, people who prioritize you, people who treat you as the way you want to be treated. So we'll just conclude now with our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us for prayer. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.